the first method of getting gold in this game is actually doing activities like raids, abyssal dungeons, anything that actually prints you straight gold and gives it to you as a reward. For example, you can see the reward sheet on Brelshaza here. It just gives you gold for completing the activity. There are some ways to maximize your gold when you're going through these activities. For example, there is typically a box that you can buy with extra materials at the end of each gate. Now, they might be worth it to buy or they might not. It really depends on what your goals are for that certain character. For example, if you are playing on an alternate character that you're not really concerned with leveling up very quickly, then my advice would be to not buy those material boxes and instead get more gold so you can spend it on your main character or the characters that you are currently trying to hone very quickly or right at that time. There's also another way to really maximize your gold making and the end of these raids whenever there are auctions for certain material boxes or legendary books, for example, whatever they may be. So do not just leave at the end of a raid check out what's being sold at the auction it could be a good legendary book that is gonna fetch a decent price on the market in terms of gold that way you can bid on that book get it for cheaper and then sell it for more on the market a great way to save your gold here is to bid on the chaos stone at the end of these raids because many times people just leave or they don't really bid on them they don't really care about them and you can get them for 50 gold or 100 gold maybe and that is a complete steal compared to buying them for 500 gold at the vendor the next major way to make a lot of gold in this game each week is by selling materials and you only get tradable mats from certain events throughout the game but lucky for you there's a lot of them for starters you get them from your chaos dungeons and your guardian rays that you're going to be doing each day or every couple of days depending on how you do them you're also going to be getting tradable materials from your challenge guardian raids you can also get tradable mats from the field bosses the ghost ships and the chaos gates by running the treasure maps that you get from completing them you'll also be able to buy tradable mats from the pirate coin vendor located outside of every major city so you can come over here and you can transfer your coins your procyons coins or your Ganas coins to pirate coins and then go over to normal and you can buy materials here now they do start to get pretty pricey once you get up to this tier of your reds and blues especially with a con mats they are extremely pricey as you can see buying this out it's 36,000 pirate coins for only 200 of these stones so it becomes less and less worth it, in my opinion, as you gradually level up in your tiers. But that is also a way that you can not only get more materials, but also sell them and make some more gold too. You can also get them from the Silmile Bloodstone Exchange vendor. And you get these bloodstones from doing guild activities, donating to your guild, doing the guild weekly quest missions. All of those things will give you the bloodstones that you need, and you can find the vendor in any major city as well. But as you can see, there are plenty of honing materials for you to buy just for your own good in here, but also they have tradable mats. And as you can see, you can just read that it says tradable on these materials. And for example, like these leapstones are untradable, and it also says bound here, and that'll let you know that they're untradable as well well but nonetheless they have them in here for you to buy and sell on the marketplace i do want to make a quick little side note in your bloodstone exchange vendor though if you're thinking about using your bloodstones to buy these materials and sell in the auction house it would be a better use of your bloodstones to buy these entrance chests to the cube because the cube gives you gems and gems are actually going to generate much more gold than buying these materials will. So just something to think about. The next topic of being able to make money belongs to the accessories, the stones, the bracelets that you're gonna be getting from literally doing every activity in this game as you can see here there's little blue stars and this means that i have set the engravings on these accessories to my favorites list that way i don't miss 
any accessories or stones that could possibly give me some decent gold. So you're gonna open up your engraving menu and when you do that, all you need to do is click this little button down here in the bottom left corner of each engraving uh, to make it your favorited engraving. And basically you're gonna do this on every engraving that is actually used by one or more classes. If you get an accessory with that on there with the right stats, then you are gonna be able to make some gold. Even if it's just 100 or 200 or 500, 2000 gold, it doesn't matter. That's still more gold that you're gonna be able to make from just simply checking some of your favorite things. And also go through every single one of the class engravings, which I need to do that on this character clearly, which I will say you do have to do this on every character, which is a bit of a pain in the butt should really change that and you want to check all the class engravings because class engravings are generally more expensive especially if it has a good second engraving so make sure you get that done and typically when you're listing something on the auction house the best practice to do is if you think it might be worth something then just hold control right click on that accessory and hit search and it will search the exact accessory that you have uh, even down to the quality here so you could change that to all qualities just to see and you can see what is on the market right now. And also you can go over to recent prices and compare it to what has actually sold. And you can get a good guesstimate at how much you should put them on the auction house for. The next great way to start earning some gold is by doing your trade skill activities. For me, I like fishing because, well, it's kind of thoughtless. You just press E and then press E again whenever there's an exclamation mark. So I can be doing basically anything else and fishing at the same time. I don't have to move around. I don't have to do anything else other than that. So I like doing that. You can also click on this little plus button. And if you have any energy potions, you can add them here. If you have any leap essence, then you can use that. Basically it just quickens everything. It just doubles everything that you're doing. So you're taking half the time to get there. But on average, I make about 2000 gold or so per day just by using my life energy with fishing. And I do that on my alternate roster, but I use all of the fish that I get from my main roster on making a Reha materials so I can hone my Akon gear. Now, if you are honing your characters up, I would highly, highly recommend you use your trade skill materials for this purpose of crafting your own fusion materials in your stronghold because it's gonna save you so much gold, especially because getting an alt character up to 1490 now does not take any gold to hone there, but you still have to have the fusion materials which do cost gold to create. So that is your biggest gold cost when honing an extra character. But you can mitigate that a ton just by spending five minutes, six minutes a day on your trade skill activities. To go along with your trade skills, you will casually get some platinum field tickets dropped to you as you're doing your trade skills around Arcasia. And you can use these platinum field tickets over here at the platinum field, which you can enter Nahoon's domain or the old Union Canal. These are also a fantastic way to make a lot of gold or get a lot of materials to use in your stronghold. And another way that you can earn some gold is by joining a guild and doing GVG events. For example, this is the guild that I'm in. I'm on NAE Zosma. So if you're looking for a guild, you should definitely join. It's a great guild. I love being here. But we do all Tijin. And for this, as you can see, if you win, you get 75k gold given to you as the guild and then that gets distributed and so every week we get a nice little chunk of change i think i got like 3,000 gold this week or 2,000 gold or something like that but if you think about it that's like doing a vikus raid it's 15 minutes and you get the same amount of gold ish just for going and hanging out with your guild and playing with a bunch of friends but seriously if y'all are looking for a guild over on nae's zosma come over to our guild you can whisper me in the game you can send me a friends request send me a message whatever or you can just message lenny our guild leader whatever it doesn't matter but we are welcoming new people all the time so if you need a guild come on over if you learned anything from this or maybe it made you think a little bit differently about how you're buying or spending your gold for that matter then 
leave a like down below and let me know how it changed your mind or if it didn't change your mind about spending your gold in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And also, if you have any questions surrounding spending gold, making gold, anything like that, or have any input on how you made your gold, then please also comment down below. I wanna hear about it. I wanna be able to help you answer your questions if you have any, anything like that. And share this guide with the people you know that need some help in this area. And make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's gonna be in your best interest to do so. If you like Lost Art content and staying up to date with everything that's happening in the game, and making as much gold as possible. It wouldn't be a valid YouTube video unless I told you to join the community Discord. We have a lot of cool, fun people in the Discord. Everyone's chill. It's a good, positive community, which I really, really enjoy about the Discord. So if you're looking for a place like that, come on over, join the Discord. The link is in the description below. But guys, that is everything for this video, and I will see you on the next one. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and may Regulus bless all of your homes this week.